Hello, welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Gonna spend a couple minutes talking about rank up strategies. Okay, so ranking up champions. What I wanted to show you is kind of my theory on who you should choose to rank up in your game, um, at least the strategy behind it. Because the high level rank up resources, especially for free to play players, is they're very hard to come by, especially the tier two alpha and the T5 basic catalysts. So let's take a look at my champions. We'll go through the, the very top ones, rank four and higher, and, um, and then kind of explain the theory on the rest of them. Oops, that's crystals. So right off the bat, um, rank two six star champions. You should be very, very scrupulous about who you decide to rank up to rank two. Um, I have Angela uh, among all my six stars. Angela is the only one that I've ranked up to rank two. And I've got a lot of flack for it too. People are constantly asking, why did you do that? And did you regret doing that? And et cetera, et cetera. Go, the list goes on. Um, the answer is no, um, I don't regret ranking her up. And the reason is this, and this is a strategy that I think you should keep in mind. She is good for a beatdown almost in every situation. There's a few places in the system in the game where it's not very good, like Spite, for example. But when it comes down to sheer damage output in almost every situation, those are the champions that I want to spend the rarest rank up resources on. Angela was one of those champions. When Six Stars first came out, she was definitely one of the best. Um, there are good ones out there now um, that may be even better. But at the time, I ranked her up because I wanted to do a legend run. Um, it worked. Now I have my legend tag. Uh, and even if I could undo it, I probably wouldn't. Very good in almost all situations. Uh, let's go through the rest of these. I don't have any other six stars that are ranked two, by the way. I have, um, and are there any that I would consider? Uh, probably not. Maybe if Sentry was duped. Maybe. Uh, but let's look at the five stars. Um, all my four and higher are in these first two rows here. And I'll start at the bottom. Iceman. Uh, actually, I'll talk about Iceman and, Dor and Dormammu together. In our alliance, we constantly play both Alliance War and Alliance Quest. The reason I have both Dormammu and Iceman, and specifically these two double immunes, um, number one, because they are double immune, but uh, also they, ver they serve a very specific purpose in war. So in Iceman's case, I have a path in war that uh, contains biohazard. It's one of the easier paths in war, I guess. Um, and so sometimes people put, you know, if, if they're wise and they've been around, they either put magic on that biohazard node or MODOK, both which are very good choices. Iceman gets around MODOK, right? Because once you fire off his special one, you can get around that auto block, which is excellent. Plus he's science, so there's no disadvantage here. And he has the damage over time, which helps. Uh, and if the opponent puts magic on that spot, that's why I have Dormammu. Dormammu is one of the only counters, I think, and one of the best counters for that node. Maybe if he had Ghost would be good too, but um, you can really prevent magic from getting up to that limbo, any of those bars of power to prevent that limbo because it is brutal at high levels of war. So the other reason I have two double immunes is because I can run a double immune in war, whichever one is necessary. And then I can use my other double immune in uh, Alliance Quest Map 5 if we're running Map 5. And, and that's important because I always bring along a double immune if I can, because you never know when you get stuck doing a path that's poison or bleed. If you if you have it, it's great because you have your double immune. If for some reason you get stuck with it and you don't, you're you're in a world of hurt. So that's why I have two rank four double immunes, and specifically these two for those uh, champions that I come across in war. Now, as far as there's an end of the war there. Um, now, as far as rank four champs, oh, I do have a rank five by the way, Domino. She's my profile character down here. I forget they put him at the bottom. Domino. Now, Domino is the only rank five five star that I have right now and I'm going to give you the same reason that I gave for Angela. She is good in so many situations. Her her critical hits are amazing. I mean there's nobody immune to critical hits, right? I mean there's glancing, but I mean that's not 100% effective. Her synergy with Red Hulk and Massacre is fantastic. The burn on the heavy. Um, and and she's just good. she's good useful in so many situations all around. She is very very good in almost every situation. So when it comes to time to really commit to those T5 basics, I went with Domino because she will be useful. She is useful in so many situations, and she will continue to be. So very good pick. And you know what? The Red Hulk and Massacre synergies those aren't chump synergies either. Those both of those champs are really good on their own. 
neither of which I have as a five star, unfortunately, but uh, they are available in six star and I would be very happy to get those. Um, as far as uh, rank fours, now rank fours is kind of the realm for those very specific rank ups. Star Lord is going to be a very specific champ to rank up to R4. The reason is because, well, he's just awesome in general, but um, he'll eventually be used for those Labyrinth Thrones. Archangel is just savage all around. Probably never going to be an R5, rank 5, because he's so good at rank 4. You don't really need to. Corvus. Corvus I considered, I'll be honest, I considered him for rank 5. The reason I didn't do it is because I already have a Cosmic in Angela as a rank 2 6 star. It's a very expensive rank up, and for using those resources, I really didn't want to have two of the same class. Um, that's not a bad thing, per se. Um, they're both really good. My Corvus is not duped. That would kind of be a game changer. But what I found with Corvus is, uh, honestly, when you run out of charges, he becomes a dud. And for a lot of those matches where your opponents have really high health, like in Act 6, it's not really as effective. I mean, he's good in war. Uh, and I bring him to Alliance Quest, actually, a lot of times um, because he finishes battles so quickly. But w when he's unduped, and since I already have an R2 6-star Cosmic, he's not really on the list of consideration right now. Um, Beast, I'll give you this one. Beast is the other one that I get a lot of flack for. Um, honestly, an underrated champion. I'm just going to sound like a broken record if anybody's ever watched anything I've done with Beast. But I'll say this about him. His bleed is pretty good. His power control is very good because it doesn't require a debuff. Um, he's bleed resistant. It's actually, and he has direct damage, which can't be countered. Uh, and he regenerates. So a lot of these things, people don't even know that he regenerates. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that Beast regenerates. Anyway, um, he's a rank four. He'll stay at rank four. Um, and quite frankly, say what you want. I don't care. He was also one of my favorites as a kid. So if you don't like that, um, you can go pound sand for all I care. Um, I probably wouldn't rank him down. Guillotine, very good overall. Specific counter, right? You need to counter um, ridiculous healing characters. You use Guillotine. Void. Void is another one. You can counter healing characters. You can counter things with a lot of buffs. Um, Void is an excellent specific use, use champion. Now, he might be a consideration for R5 if he was duped. But he's not. And so he's going to stay where he is. But very good for specific situations very much worth rank five magneto just so you know i had a 2015 rank up gem i would not have done that otherwise captain marvel <clears throat> if i had a rank down ticket i would probably rank down captain marvel she was like the only option i had at the time i had a ton of t2 alpha so uh and she was duped so i go i just went with it so those are my rank five or excuse me rank four champions rank five domino no regrets uh, Beast, Guillotine, Archangel, Dormammu, Void, Iceman, Corvus, Starlord, all those excellent rank ups, very good in many situations. Um, I would stick, I would recommend anybody on those. As far as the rank three champions I have, what would I consider um, even going to rank four? I'll just give you the list here real quick. Sabretooth, very good. Um, Venom the Duck, he's actually kind of on my list. Uh, he is so good. I wish if I duped him, he's going to be right at the top of the list. He is so good in so many situations. Um, she Hulk, very good. You know, uh, Void is the only science one I have up here at the top, so She Hulk is actually really quite good now. Um, let's see what else here. Hyperion, I've thought about, but now that I have other good um, cosmic champions, especially Corvus and especially Angela at rank two, he's probably going to sit at R3 for quite a while. Venom also, kind of the same story. He's very good, but. You know, I've kind of already filled that space. Uh, what else do we have down here? I just pulled Morningstar. I'm actually kind of curious to see how that goes. Uh, and plus she, you know, I don't have her many good mystics as far as five star. I want to see how well she plays with guillotine. So I might, I mean, that might be on the consideration list. So anyway, that's kind of a tour of my account um, as far as the champions are concerned. Kind of why I rank those. Um, and, and, and I think they have good reasons and some strategies hopefully there. Um, last thing I would say, as far as hoarding resources, now I, I see a lot of people who hang on to rank up stones, uh, signature stones, uh, awakening gems, etc, etc, catalysts, and I just don't do that. I rank up whatever I have, pretty much. Um, I really only ones that I'm really saving for anything are the T5 basic right there and the T2 alpha, which I'm a little low on right now. Anything else I just use as I have. Now. Gems, just so you know, I have one rank up gem that I'm saving. Actually, I only have one five star rank up gem, and that's my skill one there. The skill one I would save 
uh, for Blade. If I ever draw Blade, I would still awaken him and probably rank him up. And then, uh, or Aegon. Boy, I'd probably, to be honest, even if I had Blade, I would probably save it for Aegon. Now, I'm not a big fan of saving things anyway, because you just never know. It's kind of a gamble when you roll crystals. You just never know when you're going to get what you need. Um, and the other thing I want to note is the signature stone crystals. The way I do signature stone crystals, I just don't save them for anybody. If you get caught saving up crystals for this and that, you're going to be really disappointed every single time you don't draw it. So what I do is I use all the one, two, or excuse me, two, three, and four signature stones as soon as I get them. I kind of keep them rotating. Uh, I kind of max out champions that are the highest so that I can get double the shards whenever I draw them again. And as far as five star signature stones, I basically save them up until I get 20 of one. And then I find the champion who it's best suited for that I already have duped and I go ahead and use them. Um, that's going to raise my chances to get maxed out five stars and thus the max out five star crystals. Um, and generally, I think I have enough dupes of five stars to where I have at least one character of each class that I want to use it on. And so I know people save these up till they have 100 or 200 or 180 and then until they finally get the champ they want and then they can rank it up as fast as they want. That's all fun. At the end of the day, do whatever you want. Do what do what's fun for you. Do what you find fulfilling in the game. Um, for me, my strategy is just keep them all uh, up until you get 20 and then drop them. The reason that is is because you don't want to have somebody at like 195 signature stone, 5 star, and then dupe it, right? I always keep it on 20 so that it gets... When it gets to 180, you know, I'll wait till I have 20 and then I'll just max it all out. There's nothing worse than wor than wasting stones on something. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. Those are those are the champs I have, kind of the reasons I did it, kind of the strategy behind it. I hope there was some strategy there for you to glean. And uh, what I do with my resources. Um, I know that's not the same for everybody, uh, but, you'll, you know, you'll find your own way. And I hope that helps you guys. Um, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and share with your alliances if you think this is helpful. See you guys next time. Bye.